Hello and welcome to this technology committee video. This video will focus on how to request a Chromebook card for your classroom and how to care for the card as well. The maintenance and care of the Chromebook cards will help us upkeep our equipment while using technology in the classroom. To request a Chromebook card, simply to request a Chromebook card, simply use the sign-up sheet. Your media specialist or your supervisor should have a key available for you. Once you do have the key, make sure you keep it in a secure location. To access the sign-up sheet, simply look for it on your drive. From this point, you can go ahead and click on it. Once you access the sheet, you could go ahead and click on the various cards. Make sure you look for your name under teacher look for your department and the room number and you should be able to sign yourself in to the cart of your choosing it's best to select a cart near your classroom location once you've used your cart and return once you've used your cart and returned it please make sure you also return the key there are some simple guidelines teachers should follow before signing up for a Chromebook cart just as a reminder, there are some rules to follow. You must sign up for a cart before taking one to your classroom. Make sure you leave a reservation. This avoids confusion since teachers depend on the Chromebook cart, especially if they signed for it. Their entire plans might have to be altered if their cart is missing on any given day. And finally, please make sure you return the card to its original destination. Otherwise, the media specialist and the teacher who requested the card for the following day will not know where it's located. As you know, computers have to be handled with care. Please consider speaking to your students about how to handle the Chromebooks before you use the card in your classroom. Please make sure that all wires connected to the Chromebooks are used properly, that the wires are tucked away into the cart so that they do not fray or break once the cart is closed. This is an indication of what not to do. If the wires are not used properly, then they are not going to work in the future, and they might be damaged for future charging. Before closing your cart, simply make sure that each computer is placed in the right slot and that all wires are placed back properly. If a Chromebook is damaged in your classroom, please make sure you report the problem so that it's fixed as soon as possible. To report a problem, simply return to the sign-up sheet, click on report a problem, and you should be able to write about it on the on this simple Google form. These are a few extra tips just to make sure your experience in the classroom goes well. Before you move the cart to another room, make sure that the doors are locked. This will prevent a Chromebook from slipping out. Further, uh, please make sure that the key to the Chromebook cart is under your supervision and do not leave students with access to Chromebooks while you are not present. And finally, make sure that you use the lock feature at the bottom of the cart for extra safety while the cart is in your room. To make technology use easier in your classroom, you may want to consider assigning a number to each student to make them accountable for their own Chromebook. They should be able to place their co the Chromebook back correctly and they should be able to use the same number for the whole school year. I use this chart in my own classroom just to assign numbers to each student and to make sure that they are responsible for their own Chromebook for the duration of the school year. Further, you may want to consider reviewing rules with your class before you use Chromebooks. This will help students understand that there are guidelines to be used and that they should be careful with this equipment that they are allowed to use in school. Reviewing a few simple rules will allow students to understand your expectations for technology use. If you have any further questions about how to use a Chromebook cart or how to sign up for one, please do not hesitate to stop by the Technology Committee Help Desk and we will gladly answer any of your questions. You could also stop by your media specialist who should be able to help you sign up for a cart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.